The Oliphant clan's story begins in England around Northampton, where they first acquired lands. One of their earliest recorded acts of valor was the rescue of David, Earl of Huntingdon, who would later become David I of Scotland, during the siege of Winchester Castle in 1141. This heroic act would set the stage for their enduring legacy in Scotland. With their loyalty and bravery noted, the Oliphants journeyed northward when David, Earl of Huntingdon, sought to claim his Scottish kingdom. In gratitude for their service, the family was granted lands in Roxburghshire and appointed as Justicia of Lothian. These appointments not only solidified their place in Scotland, but also paved the way for their future roles in Scottish history. Despite appearing on the 1296 Ragman Roll, a list of Scottish nobles submitting to Edward I of England, the Oliphants quickly rallied behind the cause of Scottish independence. Their steadfast support for Scotland's sovereignty led them to defend Stirling Castle, a crucial royal fortress. However, this dedication came at a price, as one Oliphant was captured and imprisoned in the Tower of London. Released from captivity, the Oliphants were among the Scottish nobles who appended their seals to the famous Declaration of Arbroath. This historic document, sent to the Pope, affirmed Scotland's independence and showcased the family's commitment to their homeland. The Oliphants' loyalty did not go unrewarded. They received the lands of Gaskin Perthshire, which were elevated to a barony. Over the years, Various Oliphants were knighted and granted noble titles, including Lord of Parliament. The Oliphants remained devoted to Scotland's cause throughout history. They actively supported the Jacobite uprisings, with some members participating in battles and even facing imprisonment. One notable Oliphant, Lady Carolina Oliphant, a Jacobite poet known as Lady Nairn, contributed to Scottish culture by writing beloved songs like Charlie is my darling, and will ye no come back again. Today, Clan Oliphant continues to thrive, with Ardblair Castle near Blairgowrie in Perthshire serving as the principal seat of the family. Their legacy lives on through the descendants of the first Lord Oliphant, who played pivotal roles in shaping Scotland's history.